Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you my lazy day routine. I woke up this morning and I don't know, just one of those days where you're just feeling kind of lazy. I don't know. So me and my husband and daughter were actually going to a polo match today and it's the first one. I've never been to one. Um, and I kind of wanted to look just a little bit presentable, but you know, I'm lazy. So I just want to do the bare minimum. Okay. So we're going to jump into the video and I'm going to show you how I do my lazy day makeup routine. All right guys. So this might be a little weird, but I'm going in with my concealer first. Um, cause I'm going to be actually using a mineralized foundation or peptides. You'll see what it is. Um, and I'm going in with the Kylie concealer in the color birch. I'm just going to put that right under my eyes. Now I don't really want too much. I'm going to prime my eyelids as well for the eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to blend that right in. going to bunch up. So today I'm actually going in with the Rodan and Fields Mineral Peptides. Um, this was recommended to me by a friend and I will link her information below if you're interested in buying any of these products. Um, but this is such, I don't know, it's, it evens out my skin tone, takes away the redness and um, it also has uh, SPF 20 in it. So it's perfect for today because I'm going to be out in the sun. I usually apply it with a dense kabuki brush. Now this one is, um, my sister gave it to me. It's actually a Too Faced kabuki brush. It's retractable. Um, so I just put it into the cap just a little bit. And this is buildable. So, you know, if you just want a very sheer amount, you can just put it on, but you can also build it up to a little bit more of like a medium coverage. Um, but it's not going to be full coverage for you. So, I'm just going to take it and swirl my brush around, tap off the excess, and then swirl it on my face. And I also tend to press a little bit here because that's where I did the concealer. You know, I don't want to take that away. I don't want to wipe it off. And then I tend to set my eyelids with this as well. So after I'm done with that, I don't have to set it because it is a powder. Um, I'm going to go into bronzing my face. And I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, it just smells like a vacation. So I'm just going to bronze, add a little bit of shadow to my face. You know, usually go in the three. Now we're doing um, the blush. And what do I want to use today? All right, I'm going to go in with my Morphe 9B palette. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here because I think it's a nice rosy color. It's very light. It's just kind of a neutral cool tone color that you know I'm looking for today. And I'm using the um, Real Techniques blush brush. Now that that's done, I am going to do my eyes first and then I'm going to go into the highlighter and finishing it. I'm going to be using the Morphe uh, 25B palette. Oh, I love this palette. I mean, you can see it's very warm toned. It's good. First, I'm going to go into this color right here. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush. It's just a, a blending brush. You can use whatever blending brush you have. And I'm just going to sweep that 
more or less across the uh, whole eye because I just you know want to make sure that there's a nice base on it. So now that the base is on, I'm gonna go into this color right here. Um, it's warm, and I just want to add a little bit of dimension to my forehead. <laughs> And I'm going in with a Morphe E17 brush. This is a smaller blending brush. And I'm just going to focus that right in the crease area. Sweeping back and forth, back and forth. And then I'm going back with the original blending brush and just making sure that it's all blended out in the crease. I'm taking a Sigma medium angled shading brush. And I'm going to be going in. With this color right here, I'm just going to take a light amount, pull it out, and I'm really just going to focus it on the lower part of my crease. I don't want to go in further than the middle of the eye because I just want to stay on the outer corner. And lower part of the crease. With my Morphe E17 and blend that into the crease. And then again, taking the original brush and just blending out all the colors because you want that to be seamless. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm going to be taking I want to use? I'm going to be using just the small little Morphe. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's like a little Morphe. It looks like a spot concealer. I like to use it as my highlighter. And I'm using my Smashbox drawn in and decked out. And I'm going to be using Blow a Fuse Pearl. It's the first one in the little trio. And I'm just going to take it on my brow bone and my inner corner. So now I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. my mascara now and I'm going to be using the Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I'm going to go in my highlight and I want that all over glow. So what I find does the trick is the what I find does the trick is this Pure Nude by Essence. I mean, this is a very natural glow from within highlighter. I just take a brush. I'm using a small tapered brush from e.l.f. And I put it on my cheeks. See, as you can see, I mean, it is just very natural. Because this can go all over the face. And I put it on my nose. And then I even put it up here. All right, and next is uh, the lips. I wanted to try this out today. It's called Punch Pop by Benefit, and it's in oh, what's that gum called? Ah, oh, um, Bubblicious. Bubblicious. Oh my God, do you guys remember Bubblicious gum? I used to eat that gum like like it was like a, in a food group. I played softball when I was young and I think I had a full supply of, what was it? Oh, cotton candy and the watermelon flavor. Oh my God. 
my mouth is watering just thinking about it. I remember that. Blast from the past. But I don't know, this was definitely an impulse buy. I just saw it and I was like, oh, that just looks delicious. Um, so this is a, it's a liquid lip color with a pop of color, duh, vitamin E and shine. And I got the color sugar cookie. I've never used this before, so we shall try it now. So I think I'm in need of an actual liner on my lips because this is really light. So I'm just gonna take it off quick. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and this is in the shade, I can't find the shade, Tootsie. Okay, feels nice and it's not like the stringy. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna set my face and I'm gonna be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay guys, this is the finished look. As you can see, it didn't take too long and it also was a lot of simple steps. Um, I know it was a mix of some drugstore, some um, higher end products, uh, but it, it didn't take too long. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching my channel today. Um, please subscribe if you liked it. Um, we as a small YouTube community really need your support. Um, they have recently changed the regulations on YouTube and we would really love if you guys could come out, not just for me, you know, but for all the small YouTube channels and, um, help us to gain an audience and, um, you know, we love to do this and we love to help you guys out. So please subscribe. Um, I'll leave everything in the description box below on what I used. Um, you can easily find it there and I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye. bye. Hey guys, good morning and welcome. It's not morning. Hey guys, how you doing today? Now.